how to import products from Shopify to Facebook Marketplace. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I am going to show you how easy it is to import the products from your Shopify store to your Facebook Marketplace and also your Facebook store. So it is going to be here a very uh, easy process to do. Follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. So here we have two methods. Either you are going to import the products manually. So you are not going to need here a connection between Shopify and Facebook. So what are we going to do is to head over the products on a Shopify store. Then what are we going to do is to select the product, for example, like this and copy and paste all the content like that. So what are we going to do? Head over Facebook. Then we are going to see here the uh, marketplace. So we are going to head over the marketplace. Here we have it. Select the one here, click on create a new listing. So we are going to select here the uh, type of listing. We have item for sale, vehicle for sale, home for sale, rent. Obviously I'm going to put here item for sale. Now, what are we going to start to do is to fill up the information cases. For example, the title, for example, like that, we are going to put the title and then we are going to search for the price, which is uh, here mentioned that it is 95, the 99 something like that i don't know why it did not accept the uh the uh, price but it is okay now for the category you are going to see the category for example here we have sneakers i don't know if the uh, sneakers is going to be here uh, main clothing and shoes so the condition is going to be new obviously the size we are going to put here uh, all sizes or for example from or from for example here uh, we have seven seven to ten uh, us for example size sizes so we are going to put it like this you can go ahead and put the brand the fit for example uh, slim skinny modern whatever you can put here the description so we are going to copy and paste everything from here put here the product tags you can go ahead and put for example shoe sporty or sports sport shoe whatever so you are going to put here the labels or the tags that you need so we have uh, the location put up here the location the middle preferences for example can put a uh, door drop off door pickup or mm, public meeting whatever you can also boost the listing after you publish or hide it from your friends so you're, they are not going to see uh, what you are going to sell right there so uh, the thing that is um, here um, is missing is the let's say what's wrong the shoe this is not what I want to, to add, but we are going to head over here and add the shoe. So here we have the photo of the shoe. So I think the price is everything. So we are going to click on next. Now, what are we going to do is to publish. So you are going to click on publish and you are going to get here the product imported manually. So now we are going to let you see the second method, which is a little bit automated. So what are we going to do is to head over Facebook. Now we need a page to do that method. So we are going to head over the pages. We run here in this account some pages. I'm going to click on select a page. So it is going to switch in here. Now we are going to head over here. So we are going to see the uh, professional dashboard. And now we are going to visit the meta business suit. Now, how we can connect our meta business suit to our Shopify? So uh, this is a very simple question. Now we are going to head over to uh, Shopify, click on the search bar at the top and type in simply Facebook like that. And we are going to see a app appearing right here. If it doesn't appear, you are going to click on search in uh, Shopify app store. We're going to see it right away. And this is the app that you are going to install. So we are going to click on it, click on install. 
and it is going to be installed just in a few seconds. So you're going to permit the installation by clicking on install again. And here we are going to see it. So basically we are going to connect our Facebook account. I'm going to uh, uh, here uh, pin it to the navigation. So we are going to click on get started, connect our account or Facebook account. We're going to see it right here. Click on continue. Now continue as the name of the Facebook that we have. You're going to see here the business portfolios. We are going to select one. So you can go ahead and either create a new one, for example. Here we have some business portfolios for the data sharing. So you are going to choose the preferences. For example, here for the Metapixel to achieve right there the, uh, let's say, um, the new ones. So I'm going to select here the Shopify one. I have so we are going to click on save it doesn't matter for data sharing here I'm going to let you see here or uh, mention something the more or the uh, here the highest for these uh, we have the conservative in enhanced and medium the conservative is not going to collect a lot of data the enhanced is going to be mid mid which is going to collect here some of the details as you can see here you can go ahead and see the details and for the maximum, it is going to collect everything. So we are going to select one of these. We're going to select here the pixel that you have. Agree to the terms and services, submit for review. And here it is going to finalize the setup. Here you are going to set up the uh, Facebook account of yours. So you can basically run ads on Facebook and Instagram from your Shopify store. And publish the product. So you can go ahead and click on publish here, publish products. And you are going to head over here. Here we have the Meta Business Suit. You're going to head over the All Tools and select from here Commerce. So Products and Services, we're going to select Commerce. We're going to see here the Facebook Shop. So as you can see here, we have this, uh, the Facebook Shop. We are going to see the catalog. The catalogs are going to have here or collect the items that we have. For example, for the shop, you're going to see here that we have a shop. You can add some items. And these items could be added manually or from a catalog. And that catalog could be right there, the Shopify store. So you are going over here, for example, you can customize or add items, customize your shop. And after that, you're going to set up here, for example, the data source of the catalog. We're going to select it. And you're going to see here the different. So you can go ahead and add a data feed, for example and you're going to set it up so here you are going to see the shopify one so this is the shopify store that we have we're going to see it here manage or commerce manager supplements for shopify so this is the catalog for the shopify store you are going to see here the products that we have on the shopify store this is an old shopify store that i have already so you are going to see them now if you are going to see these items for example here you're going to set them you can create an ad or create a set for them and put them into the uh, marketplace you can go ahead and select here the uh, marketplace as an option so this is the automated step so you are going basically to create a, or advertise the set for example select here the uh, placement that you are going to add the uh, here uh, or the objective of these for example, here we have some uh, traffic or leads. For example, you are going to head here and add some leads. And from there, you are going to set up the uh, manual campaign and put it here at the end. You're going to select the uh, the advertisement or whether the ad is going to be set on the uh, marketplace. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.